press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Everything we see around us is made up of matter, and atom is the basic unit of matter. Democratics, जो के Greek philosopher थे, 500 BC में उन्होंने ये idea दिया कि जब भी आप matter को उसके small pieces में divide करना शुरू करते हैं, तो एक ऐसा point आता है कि आप matter के उस particle को further divide नहीं कर सकते। मैटर के उस स्मॉलेस्ट पीस को उसने वर्ड एटम का नाम दिया। आफ्टर 1803 जॉन डाल्टन, रदरफोर्ड एंड स्पेशली बोर एटॉमिक मॉडल ये इनफॉरमेशन दी कि एटम इज़ नॉट अ स्मॉलेस्ट पार्टिकल। नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट व्हाट इज़ एन एटम। एटम कंसिस्ट ऑन न्यूक्लियस एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन व्हिच आर रिव in the center of an atom and the path around nucleus where electrons are evolving is known as orbit or energy levels. In the, in the, center, in the, in the center of an atom in nucleus there is there are proton, neutron, which called a nucleon symbol of proton, neutron and electron so proton is represented by a symbol P positive and uh, electron has no charge neutron has no charge so it is represented by a symbol like this and electron has negative charge so it is represented by like this this symbol and the charge on proton is plus one and charge on uh, neutron has no charge so it is so it has zero and charge on electron is minus one so now let's talk about their masses and the mass of uh, proton and neutron is same so it is 1.67 multiply 10 is to power minus 27 kg so mass in kg so again mass of proton and mass of neutron are same so multiply 10 is to power minus 27 kg and the mass of electron is 9.11 multiply 10 is to power minus 31 kg so relative atomic mass of proton is about uh, 1 and neutron has also 1 and the electron have uh, 1 over 1 8 6 0 so it's about uh, 0 0.001 something so it's 0 approximately so atomic mass unit of electron is about 0 so if you talk about coulomb charge so charge on so coulomb uh, 1.602 multiply 10 to power minus 19 coulombs so neutron has no charge so here it is 0 and charge on electron is uh, 1.602 multiply 10 to power minus 19 coulombs so so important term related to atom is atomic number uh, atomic number which is represented by z and it is the number of proton present in a nucleus so atomic number is number of proton in a nucleus and the next one is mass number so mass number is actually mass number is represented by a and it is number of proton and neutron present in nucleus and the size of an atom is actually the distance between nucleus and the energy level where electrons are revolving so it is like electrons if electrons are revolving in k shell so uh, the number of number of energy levels in an atom where electrons are revolving 
so the size of an atom increase as the energy level around a nucleus is increasing and uh, electrons are revolving around a nucleus because it ha there is a electrostatic force between nucleus and electrons so electrons are revolving around the nucleus because electrostatic force provides centripetal force so so that's why electron is revolving around the nucleus so we were talking about the atomic size so the roughly size we take 10 is to power minus 10 meter is the size of an atom so if we, if the energy level around the nucleus is increased so size of an atom will also also increase so there is a large number of energy levels which is like as which name as k l m n o like this so if the distance between nucleus and k shell is small so the radius so the atomic size will be small so if the distance between nucleus and the next energy level l so we see that here the distance is uh, greater as compared to k shell so so we can say that the atomic radius is increased with the distance between nucleus and energy levels where electrons are revolving so isi tarah similarly jo hai wo agar hum distance le L size ka isi tarah ka distance le yahan pe agar M size ka aur N ka and O ka to hum dekhenge jo jo radius of agar electrons ka jo hai wo agar electrons jo revolve kare N shell mein so is case mein atom ka jo radius hoga wo size hoga greater hoga as compared to M and according to Bohr atomic model when electron revolve around the nucleus it does not emit or absorb energy but when it jump from higher energy level to lower energy level or lower energy level to higher energy level so jo energy level electro nucleus ke kareeb hoga wahan force of attraction jo hai wo greater hogi aur jisi isi tarah agar jo hai wo force of attraction jo hai wo depend karti hai number of energy levels pe to k shell mein jo force of attraction hai wo greater hogi l mein usse kam hogi m mein n mein and respectively o mein sabse force of attraction jo kam hogi so agar hum uh, if we talk about the energies so energies of the uh, energy levels so energy of uh, k shell will be less very less as compared to l m n o so jitna energy levels uh, nucleus se away hote jayenge dur hote jayenge to energy uski energy jo hai wo zyada hoti jayegi let's suppose agar electron jo hai wo k shell mein jo hai wo move kar agar electron ne l shell mein move karna hai to l shell mein electrons ki energy jo hai wo to uh, uh, l shell ki jo energy hai energy level uski energy zyada hai to electrons ko purpose to l shell mein jump karne ke liye energy jo hai wo gain karni padegi similarly agar l se m ya n o p mein agar एनर्जी लेवल में इलेक्ट्रॉन ने जंप करना है तो उसको इन शेल्स की जो है वो एनर्जी रिक्वायर्ड होगी सिमिलरली अगर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स लेट्स सपोज के एन शेल पर है और इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ने जो है वो जंप करना है टू एम और एल शेल पर तो इन दिस केस में जो एनर्जी जो है वो एम और एल शेल की जो है वो लेस है एज कम्पेयर टू एन तो इस केस में इलेक्ट्रॉन्स जो है वो एनर्जी रिलीज करेंगे और जो एनर्जी रिलीज होगी वो होगी इन टर्म ऑफ फोटोन तो वो एनर्जी जो है इन टर्म ऑफ फोटोन की फॉर्म में जो है वो रिलीज होगी सो इस प्रोसेस को हम जो है वो ट्रांजिशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स कहते हैं ट्रांजिशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन में जब एक्साइटेशन और डी एक्साइटेशन एक्साइटेशन तब होगी जब इलेक्ट्रॉन जो है वो लोअर एनर्जी लेवल टू हाई एनर्जी लेवल जो है जब मूव करेगा मतलब कि जब इलेक्ट्रॉन मूव करेगा फ्रॉम के के एनर्जी लेवल टू एल एम एन ओ पी विच आर हाई एनर्जी लेवल दिस इज कॉल्ड द एक्साइटेशन एंड इन दिस केस इलेक्ट्रॉन नीड मोर एनर्जी टू जंप द हाई एनर्जी लेवल सो इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द डी एक्साइटेशन डी एक्साइटेशन में क्या होता है कि इलेक्ट्रॉन्स जो है वो जम करता है हाई एनर्जी लेवल टू लोअर एनर्जी लेवल सो इस केस में इलेक्ट्रॉन्स को जो है वो एनर्जी रिलीज करनी होती है क्योंकि जो एनर्जी जो है वो के एल एम शेल की और एनर्जी लेवल्स की यहाँ पे कम है एज कम्पेयर टू एन और पी के केस में सो इसमें केस में एनर्जी इलेक्ट्रॉन्स को रिलीज करनी पड़ेगी सो जो एनर्जी जो है वो रिलीज होगी इन टर्म ऑफ फोटोन सो 
so in this in this process so x rays will be produced so we can say that x rays is produced in the electronic electronic transition similarly uh, in nucleus uh, excitation or de excitation take place similarly here in electronic transition but in uh, nucleus disintegration gamma rays are produced so gamma rays are produced because of the disintegration of the nucleus so the, both these both rays are produced uh, used in medical purpose and uh, x rays are used for uh, when we want to take the when what the x rays are of our body and want to see the fracture in bones so x rays are used for that purpose and gamma rays are uh, radioactive so it is also used for the treatment of cancer and the uh, here the mass of uh, nucleus is about uh, 10 raised to power minus 15 meter so ma so mass of uh, so the size of an atom is about five time greater than the mass of nucleus so mostly the atom is an empty and now the talk about the shape of an atom shape of an atom so the shape of an atom is spherical the experiment show that for hydrogen helium lithium neon that the shape of an atom is spherical so so this result shows that atom is not a smallest particle atom is not a fundamental particle if atom is fundamental particle so we cannot divide it further any more so here we see that so we are dividing here atom into electron proton neutrons and quarks as well so ye result ye show kar rahe hain ki atom is not a fundamental particles so and one thing more about the atomic size so atomic size of an atom is increase from top to bottom in a periodic table in groups and the size of an atom is decrease in period from left to right so top to uh, bottom energy levels jo hai wo increase karte hai atoms ke to energy levels increase karne se jo size of an atom jo hai wo increase kar jata hai so similarly jo group mein jo hai wo uski decrease karne ki reason yahi hai ki jo energy levels hai wo कम होते जाते हैं तो एनर्जी लेवल कम होने से जो डिस्टेंस जो है वो न्यूक्लियस और एनर्जी लेवल्स के दरमियान जो है वो कम होता जाएगा तो साइज ऑफ एटम जो है वो डिक्रीज करता जाएगा सो एट द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो वी हैव अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम यू व्हाई द मास ऑफ प्रोटॉन न्यूट्रॉन इज ऑलवेज लेस देन द मास ऑफ न्यूक्लियन सो प्लीज आंसर इट इफ यू नो दिट एंड आल्सो लाइक माई वीडियो इफ यू लाइक इट and take care bye bye